I like Recent for many reasons. The first reason is because it's really easy to onboard. The second reason, because it's free for a long time and you can use it up to 3,000 emails. And the last thing, it's because it's a really simple product. We plugged it to an application, but we didn't look that much at the dashboard and we didn't look also at the billing and the daily limits of the application. The first tab that we got under the recent dashboard is the overview tab. And we've got a basic chart which gives us insights on how many emails we have been sending. And also we've got some uh, calculation about how much percentage of emails have been delivered, bounced, etc., etc. Here it's a test account to do this course. So I don't get that much data, but here this chart can give us a basic overview. It's really simple, really nice to see because we want to go straight to the point. So we can see that with this domain name, I've been sending 33 emails and 89% of them have been delivered, right? Then down there here, I can see that I can invite a team member. So if I would like to share this data with some members of my team, if I am in a startup, for example, I can, of course, have a team space and I can invite a member. And when I click on it, immediately I arrive on the settings and we see here that I can invite a team member to join actually the, the, the team. And we can have then uh, after a list of the members. Let's come back. Then what we've got in here, we've got, of course, the track record of all the emails that we have been sending. OK, so here we can see that I can uh, check the last seven days, 15 days, 30 days, all times, depending on the status. And which is interesting here is that on the previous video, we've been looking at the status. And if we look closely, we can see that we have also a status sent. We have seen deliver, delivery delayed, complain, bounced, click and open. So the email page, it's probably the page where you are going to go every day to check if the email have been delivered. If you want to debug, it's also the best page because you are going to come back here and you are going to look, for instance, at a user. So here, let's say that I'm going to check for this Kevin at gmail.com, which is not supposed to um, <laughs> exist or that has been bounced by Gmail since a while ago. We can see here that I find all the emails with Kevin at gmail.com, even, even when Kevin is on a list of emails. So directly, I can't see that here I got Kevin, but I can see that I got Kevin actually on the list because here I got a plus two. So if I click on it, here I got more explanation about uh, what happened on this list and etc etc so here I can come back and here we see that the email page it's probably the most important in the dashboard of recent another one it's the domains one so here me I got only one domain but probably through your product you are going to propose to your user to use recent we've got actually two ways to add domains to recent us, we saw the way to do it manually through the dashboard by clicking on add domain. But there's also a way to do it through the API and probably through your product. You want your user to be able to add domain to your recent dashboard. However, be safe here when we go to the settings, we can see that here you can have only one domain when you are on a free plan. If you want to have unlimited domain, you got to pass on a pro plan or an enterprise plan. You've got the logs also, and the logs, it's really important, especially for your backend developer or um, if you have an API that is going to always send uh, uh, recent requests. You probably track records in Sentry or another product about the logs. Resend is giving you also the opportunity to have this log tab where you can look at all the requests that have been done. So here we can see that I got 422 and I got 200. And let's just click on this one, for instance. And here, which is cool, is that I got a complete log on the response body and on the request body. And we can see here that I had a missing required field. This is something that I can catch here and I can identify as a 422. So which is cool is that Resend is a product made for developer. So they know that you will be looking for the request body. 
the response body and the request body. So when you go to the logs directly, you can find this information. Also, if you click here on um, the menu, here I can click on view email, but here I got uh, uh, something that impeached me to look at the view email. It's probably because of my free plan for now. So what I can do also is, of course, to look at all the different status of the logs. If I got different one, 200, 201, etc., etc., which is really cool, I can filter them. So let's say that I want to filter the 422, and I can see that I got only the 422. And I can filter through the user agents. And I can also use a filter on the API keys, which is really cool because also if you have several API keys and you want to filter the logs depending on who made a request, you can use this API key. This is a really smart filter. Talking about the API keys, of course, here we can see that we've got all the API keys. And here there is the one that I created at the very beginning of this course. If I click on API here, I can see that here I got some options if I want to create an API key. So I got directly the code, which is really cool. I can go directly here, list an API key, delete an API key, create an API key. But we are going to see that more into the API video that is coming soon. Also, we've got the webhooks. And of course, you can use webhooks with Resend. And this is probably one of the best uh, features that Resend have. Resend is supposed to be a product for devs. However, if you want to use Resend and you are not a developer, you can probably hook Resend here through a webhook. We're going to give an example again in the webhooks video. We're going to use make and we're going to try to send a request through Resend and it's going to trigger a webhook directly here. We arrive on the settings and on the billing. So what's the pricing of Resend? At first, Resend is free, up to 3,000 emails per month and up to 100 emails per day. So this is the amount that Resend offers you to try the product and just to send your first emails. Here, 100 emails a day, it's doable, but there is a point where you will need to pass to the pro version because on the pro version here, there is a big gap. We can see that for only $20 per month, and I say only $20 because this is given, you can send up to 50,000 emails per month and there is no daily sending limits. So this plan here, it's really good for indie hackers or people who have to send email through their application, okay? For $20 a month, you can send up to uh, 50,000 emails. If I go up here with the cursor, we can see that I can go up to 1,000 email a month, okay? And it's only $35. It's just amazing. We can send for this price. Most of the startups would just have to spend this amount of money to send this amount of email, okay? So we're going to continue. We go up. And we can see that slowly with 200K emails, we got the price increasing to $80, $200 for almost half a million email a month. And if we go up to 1 million email a month, it's going to be $400, which is already given. On the maximum here for the pro plan, we've got 5 million emails a month, and it's going to be $1,200 a month which is a very good price if you get a company and if you send 5,000, uh, 5 million, sorry, 5 million email a month, it probably means that you make tons of money <laughs> and this amount is nothing for you. After 5 million emails a month, here it's going to be custom. Um, actually, it's a plan based on your specific needs. You have to contact Resend and work with them on um, actually how many emails you want to use and you want to send every uh, day and every month. And of course, talking about the daily uh, sending limit, there is no daily sending limit. On the options of every plan, here we can see that we've got the email support with the free plan. We got one domain, we got one day data retention, right? We've got, we don't got multi-region. We saw that we can't choose actually the server where we are. We've got, we don't got actually the single sign-on and we don't got the dedicated IP that can help you 
with the add-on actually to um, manage um, your um, and it's written down here we're going to arrive to it but where we are going to manage our reputation all right so for the pro plan we've got the slack support so this is really cool you got an access to slack with recent and you can talk to the team you got unlimited domains and this is where um, if you are going to use resend as a provider for your emails and you want to create domains for your clients you are going to use the pro plan and it starts of course at $20 a month right we've got free day data retention and we have the multi-region so the multi-server we don't have the single sign-on and we don't have the dedicated IP with add-on for the custom plan of course we've got everything finally let's talk about this add-on dedicated IPs we can see here that we can request a dedicated IP to send our email through WeSend. Basically, we would like to have this to manage a fully dedicated IP to control our reputation. We saw previously that we can end up really fast into the spam folder for many uh, email providers, such as Google, Yahoo, Outlook. So here we've got the possibility for $30 a month to get the dedicated IP add-on. This is ideal for high volume senders and this add-on would be also ideal for warming up, monitoring and auto-scaling. These are uh, developers terms, right? But for those who want to really use a, a, a tool like Resend to send high volume emails, we will understand that in some cases and in many cases actually of high volume senders, you need a dedicated IP. It ensures good email sending reputation and it focuses on sending without worrying about IP reputation. If we click down here, we've got our profile and when we click on it, we've got the onboarding. Remember, the onboarding, this was the first step on the first video to create an API key and to send an email. It's a really simple page, really nice, but if you look for it, it's here on onboarding. Then we've got, of course, the home page, the landing page of Resend with all the information that we presented before. We've got the profile. So here it's simply our profile. For now, it's a bit empty. I'm pretty sure they will complete all these, all these pages that looks a bit empty. But here, this is simply if you want to change your email address. And finally, you got the logout option. Here on the top, you've got the feedback here pop up where you can send a feedback to uh, the recent team. You've got the help here that is going to help you to uh, understand and deal with your problems. You can also click on help here on top to ask anything to the team or contact the support down here. And you've got the docs that are going to help you to do almost everything you want to do with Resend. It's a pleasure to come back every day on this really simple app to monitor all our emails.